In this video, we'll be developing the formulas for linear and angular velocity. First, we know that distance is equal to rate times time. We can write that with the variables d equals r times t. And if we're looking for the rate of speed or the rate of the velocity, then we can divide both sides by t and get rate is equal to distance divided by time. Now when we talk about linear and angular velocity, usually we're talking about how fast a point will move along an arc of a circle. What we're going to do then is take this formula, rate is equal to distance divided by time, and use these variables. So S represents the distance along the arc of a circle. V is going to represent the linear speed of a point on that circle. And so we can get a formula then that the rate of speed, which we're going to let that be v, is equal to and then the distance along the arc of the circle, we're using s for that, divided by some unit of time. So this is one formula for linear speed. Now we do know that s is equal to r times theta if theta is given in radians. So since s equals r theta for theta given in radians, we can substitute that into this formula and get another formula. So another formula for linear speed. will be v equals r theta divided by t. And remember, for this one, theta needs to be in radians. Now, a formula for angular speed We use omega for the speed in radians per unit. So omega equals theta divided by t. And this is in radians per unit of time. And that's just uh, radians per second, or radians per minute, or something like that. So this is a formula for angular speed. And then notice that in this formula, we have theta over t as one factor multiplied by r. So that gives me yet another formula for linear speed. we get velocity is equal to r times the angular speed, omega. So this is my third linear speed formula.